Well, happy Friday, and thanks for joining us at the end of your week. We hope this has been a good week for you, and thanks for being part of our journey. Hope you tell your friends about what we're doing, and that it's an encouragement to you, and, uh, and will be encouragement to those that you share it with. Over and over again in the book of Ruth, we are told that Boaz is a man of noble character. We are shown that Ruth has high character. These, interestingly enough, are the heroes of the story, and they are people who have values. They have integrity. Uh, they look out for the underdog. They are careful in how they behave because they know how it impacts other people around them. They are people of high character. In fact, there are parts of the Bible that could be interpreted this way or that way, but we determine how we interpret the passage because we see, that through, we see the passage through the lens of the high character of Boaz and the high character of Ruth. Now, here's a false assumption a lot of us make. We think that God will call us, we'll get our act together, and then God will use us. Mm -mm. Get your act together, then God uses you. Work on your relationship with him. Deal with those things in your life that you know you need to deal with so that there's nothing that hinders you or clutters your relationship. Deal with anger, bitterness, resentment, uh, all of those things that are not helpful. Uh, deal with whatever broken relationships you have. Uh, deal with those things in your mind that don't help you become more like Christ. Deal with those things. Get those things out of your life so that as Christ pours himself into you, there's nothing in you at the moment that would pollute the pure goodness and grace that God is pouring into you through his son, Jesus Christ. I tell you this story all the time. Let me tell you again. I don't wash dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. Now, Jeannie says you have to wash the dish before you put it in the dishwasher. My thing, if I have to wash the dish before I put it in the dishwasher, then I don't have a dishwasher. I've got a dish rinser or a dish dryer, but I don't have a dishwasher. Me, I'm going to put it in there dirty. I figure it'll stay in there until it's clean. If you have to run it two, two or three times, no big deal. That's what the thing is designed to do. Well, I'm as careless in unloading the dishwasher as I am loading it, and you know what happens. Grab a glass of, uh, for my milk, got my Oreos open, pour the milk in there. And when you tip the glass up, the milk drops where you see the bottom of the glass. What's on the bottom of the glass? Who knows? It's whatever was in that dishwasher, the dishwasher chopped up, blew around, blew up in that glass, and then baked it in there. We have no idea what it is. It could have been something from last week, last month, last year. We don't know. But you don't say, no problem. I have only drank from the top of this glass. The milk I got was clean. You don't say that. No, you do what I do. You throw the glass down, you grab your throat, you start spitting and coughing, telling Jeannie to take you to the emergency room because you've been poisoned. You would not drink out of a mostly clean glass. And yet we expect Jesus to use a mostly clean life. What would have happened if Boaz had not been a man of noble character? Does the story of Jesus' genealogy stop there? We don't have the grandfather of David. We don't have the grandmother of David. What happens to the lineage of Jesus? What happens in the moment where we can't be trusted because we are not people of noble character and God hesitates to use us? If there's anything in your life that causes God to hesitate to use you in the moment, you need to deal with that. So what would it take for you, if someone is going to write your story, to be described in the book as a person of noble character? That's where we want to get. So there's nothing and no reason for Jesus to hesitate to use us whenever he needs us. 
I know, that's a lot to think about. I'm going to give you 60 seconds to get started, and I'll see you Monday. <laughs>